have a personal assistant type of a uh, mm, tribute to Sung Wee Cho. I've, I've heard a lot about the, the victims of uh, so-called victims of the Virginia Tech shooting. Um, pow, pow. <laughs> I've, I've heard a lot about that. Um, in, in Blacksburg, Virginia, and um, I heard so much about the victims and and um, oh, this person uh, like this uh, favorite hue, and, and this person uh, they had um, ambitions to uh, be a top cheerleader. Uh, but what about Sing Cho? What about him? What about what about him? Um, he did make history. That's undeniable. But it's also undeniable that he was... A lot of persons don't see him as a victim. But nonetheless, he was a victim. Because he was... He was tortured. He was tortured. But, but I, the legendary Richard Faulkner, am the only one that has the courage and the genius to, to see that. And to pronounce it as such. And in fact, as I said to write a um, to say a tribute, I have a personal assistant type of a tri this tribute. <laughs> and these are words that I um, I dictated to my personal assistant. It reads as follows. Sin Wicho had immense courage to do what he did. It is so easy for many to criticize what he did. However, they need to acknowledge that to do something of what he did takes tremendous courage. It also took intelligence because he had the foresight in mind to tape himself between shootings because he foresaw into the aftermath he saw an explanation being rendered which was what those tapes was he wanted to explain why he did what he did when he knew he foresaw that mm, he would be dead not long after he filmed that and he managed to some say send it he sent it to uh nbc he said to an nbc station in manhattan uh, he, so he dropped it in the mailbox <laughs> before he was on his way to another building <laughs> bang bang to go bang bang <laughs> bang bang yes yes indeed bang bang um as i said he has was seen as a tortured soul. He was a tortured person. That's very true. That's very true. And um, <laughs> no one, well, most, I, there are a few that understood what he did. But most can't. There was a anger. There was there was a rage that was uncontrollable that he had. The consequences, the result of which, yes, left a lot of uh, a lot of uh, death behind. But that's what happens. It doesn't happen often, but now and then, that's what happens. Bang, bang! When, when someone has immense rage, they get to that point. The result thereof is massive murder. A massive massacre! That's what is the result. Why? Many persons say, oh, he was troubled, uh, or he looked um, strange.
estranged. He, he talked or he didn't talk. And that was his strangeness. Because he, he didn't talk and, and this and that. And, and that was, um, I heard some newscast or some uh, persons on various shows, uh, programs, say, well, there was indications that he was troubled. And why didn't someone reach out to him? How come no one had the, the intelligence and the care, right guys, to reach out to him? How come? <laughs> I mean, he said, well, well, how come he did this and, and, and why was he deranged? And because as he said on the, on the tapes, they made him do it. They made him do it. <laughs> and his the, the massacre that was shed, the, the, the horror cannot be washed off. <laughs> it cannot be erased. I'm gonna have a part two. I'm gonna read that very soon. Uh, I want to read it outdoors. I want to read it because uh, I'm in the studio. I'll turn the camera that way a little bit. Um, no, no, that way. That way. I want to read it. There, that's good. Beautiful. I want to read it um, in a place where there's other um, persons besides my cameraman and person assistant. I'm going to read it uh, among others that I don't know. And I'm going to pronounce it so. It's going to be like a part two, as I said, of a, of a remembrance of uh, some show. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is part one, as I said. <laughs> Too. Yes, 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 yes. And um, again, it's so easy to blame the so the uh, the shooter, the so-called perpetrator of uh, uh, the, what, the, what happened, whether it's this or something else. It's always easy to blame the person that did what you did. But, 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 wait, 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 wait. I know a lot of you watching, you you're, you're, have questions and you're outraged and, uh, <laughs> because I, like you were have the courage to speak up for some of each other. Speak up for the dead. <laughs> I think about the dead a lot. <laughs> um, I'm not saying that these are the things that he, he actually thought. I mean, I don't know. Maybe. I should say maybe these are the things that he thought. And if so, I'm speaking up accurately for him. <laughs> there, there were steps. There were things that led to him doing what he did. And most would not acknowledge that. They want to. They want to look past that. They want to. Um, actually, they want to look at it all. They want to ignore that. Not look at that. All the rage. All all the times the persons uh, got him angry, unjustifiably so. And it built up. And it built up. They didn't. Persons don't look at the building steps. <laughs> they don't look at the building steps that happened. No, no, they don't. <laughs> And, but but now now they're seeing the result of what they caused. All those persons that died there, um, well, a lot. Some of them caused what happened. Lights, camera, access. I, the legend Rayford Faulkner, have the same rage and the same anger. I let you look for her. <laughs> Have the same rage and anger that some show had.